Hi, my name is Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab and I'm also one of the Dr Preppers for Prepping Data where we'll be using uh, the data today to look at some fixed LODs in Tableau Prep. Now I'm going to assume that you have some knowledge of fixed LODs from Tableau Desktop and this will be just be introducing you to the new interface in Tableau Prep for LODs which I think actually really helps with my understanding of how LODs work and um, what's kind of going on with the data. So let's flick over to take a quick look at the challenge. So we are looking at um, 2020 week 14 and this is kind of focusing on building spider charts, well getting the data in the right shape to build a spider chart. So we've got a list of basically just species of spiders and what we want going to use our LOD for is to count how many specimens we have per species. So our data is looking like this. We've got our code, so our kind of ID of our species. So that'll be sort of unique to each spider that it's found. So if we are looking to do an LOD, we're just going to create a new clean step. We just want to know for each of these uh, species how many specimens do we have. So it's basically getting out the number of rows for each of these um, species. So we go into the three dot menu and we create a calculated field and we're going to select fixed LOD. You can, in the same way um, as in Tableau Desktop, write it as a calculated field uh, using the same syntax, but this interface is so much nicer in my opinion and so much more helpful to work out what's going on that I recommend you use this because why wouldn't you really? So immediately we get brought up this little pop-up window. Well, it's not really a window, but you see what I mean. Um, and it's fixed LED. It can also be a rank, another analytical calculation, which um, I suggest you check out the video for that if you haven't already. And First of all, we're taken to what are we grouping by? So what are we fixing on? So what are we saying for each? So we're saying for each species, then what calculation are we doing? So we want to know how many specimens we have per species. So we're going to want to count the number of codes that we have. And that is basically going to be giving us our number of rows for each species. So we're grouping by the number of species and we're counting the code. So this is almost like um, how you set up the aggregation step in Tableau Prep. So you decide what fields you want to group by and then you decide what calculation. But this isn't going to impact the number of rows in our data set. It is just going to sort of append it onto that, um, if that makes sense. So you can do all the sort of counts. Um, if this was a numeric field, we could be doing sums, averages, etc and so forth um, and then the only thing that's left to do here we've kind of got the new field here is just to rename it so this would be uh, specimens or yeah we'll call it specimens um, and then we can see part of the challenge is that we want to only look at species that have specimens with value greater than or equal to 10 so 10 or more specimens so you can see that when we filter those out um, these are the only ones that will be remaining um, if we have a look down here, um, just to kind of prove to you that it's working, then this species here, this, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, has 10 rows and we can see that we've got 10 specimens there. So the LOD has worked. And that's about it. It's just about kind of playing with the interface that gets um, given to you uh, to get to the value that you want to get to. And I hope that you're as excited by that as I am because I think it's a really cool visual way to see how the LOD is being built up and please do check out the rest of the challenge and the solution if you want a little bit of practice with those LODs yourself. So thank you very much for watching, please do subscribe to this channel, check out the previous video on rankings which has a very similar interface and stay tuned for a video on geographic roles in Tableau Prep and how they can help you to clean up your data. Thanks for watching.